The ships slide through a mirror-flat ocean, stained red with spring seaweed. Columns of rock, improbably draped with pine trees, tower out of the mist. The men on the ships watch silently as the samurai prowl the deck above. They will make land near Kyoto, and their lord, Hideyoshi, will lead the siege of the city of 10,000 shrines. Within Kyoto, revolutionaries hold prisoner Lord Nobunaga, the man who would unify Japan. The islands of Japan remain a patchwork of bickering samurai warlords who still settle conflicts with ritualized duels. Nobunaga seeks to forge a single Japan, dragging the provincial samurai into the modern era. Like his master Nobunaga, Hideyoshi wins his battles by volleys of muskets, fully exploiting the firearms recently introduced by Portuguese sailors. Hideyoshi intends no bargaining. He will demand once for Nobunaga's release, and then storm the city. Kyoto paid dearly for Nobunaga's death, and in the end, Hideyoshi was able to accomplish what his mentor could not. By 1590, Japan was a unified country. Great though it was, this accomplishment did not satisfy Hideyoshi, who then set about on an ambitious plan to conquer China and Korea. Japan was not free of conflict, as civil wars continued to rise and fall for many years. However, the Aiyasu family, former allies of Hideyoshi, continued to rule Japan as shogun until the 19th century. 